ignore me because we put them in the back. My hubby over there. <laughs> and um, so anyway, I wanted to, uh, it's a new week. It's Monday, even though it doesn't feel like it. So I wanted to come with uh, another episode of Pushing Purpose. So this is episode two of Pushing Purpose. And I want to title this, Don't Be Ashamed. Uh, there is a quote by a brilliant artist. Uh, I feel like her songs were just like the epitome of my adolescence, Alanis Morissette. And she said, we're taught to be ashamed of anger, fear, confusion, and sadness. And to me, they're of equal value to happiness, excitement, and uh, passion. And I think that's such an just I think that not only is her artistry brilliant and the way that she expresses all sides of life and our emotions, but that quote to me just sums up really what yin and yang is about and the, the great balance of life. And um, here, especially in our society in the U.S., because we are uh, geared towards success and achievement, we think our life trajectory just has to be this upward line and anytime it goes like that and anytime it gets off um, you know something is tragically wrong with us and I, I thought this message would be important today because there are a lot of people going through a lot of things during the holidays um, I got unexpected news the other day about uh, my auntie's mother um, she was my uncle's um, wife and she was m one of my favorite aunties all growing up and is still an auntie that I love deeply so her loss affects me and um, I know I had a friend who lost her mother to cancer so I think of her around this time and this time last year to be honest speaking of that quote that I just mentioned by Alanis Morissette um, I have one of the most beautiful and one of the most difficult Christmases at the same time. I planned a getaway for both uh, me and my husband's families. I thought it just would be great to do a um, uh, vacation home. Uh, so we did it, I think it was somewhere in between Dallas, Houston, and Tulsa, where all of us are. And it was really beautiful and I needed it. Um, and I wanted to provide just that escape from so many things that we had experienced that year and just all come together under one roof so it was beautiful in that way just being able to get away be under one roof together and just have fun we have so much love in our family but it was also a very 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 difficult year and on Christmas Day I remember just being on the bathroom floor um, in our master suite um, bedroom crying and I was in there for a few hours and I know maybe Darius's family was like, oh, I should be an antisocial, but I know my family knew what I was experiencing, you know, um, and everything isn't for social media. So I don't have to tell you all the details of my life to let you know that I understand what it's like to just be um, winded and a little bit overwhelmed and not really have ever foreseen a situation happen and then it's out of your control and I think that's very difficult for people like myself that are such change agents such activists such deep lovers when we can't improve or fix or change something um, and I just want the people who are maybe going through something um, and you know just in general not just in the holidays but just in general to know it's okay you don't have to be ashamed to say I, I just don't you know I don't want to come out the bathroom right now I just can't smile right now I just need a day I just need time I just need to pause I just feel upset I just you know I don't have all the answers and I just want to say that that's okay that that's a part of life too and that just because it's the holidays you know doesn't always mean that we automatically have to all turn up and turn on and light up and we're not machines we are not machines people um, my 30th birthday was last year it was 
by far probably the hardest birthday I've ever had and my 31st birthday was beautiful and I know based on the you know way that things are supposed to be because everybody's supposed to have this amazing everything all together the 30th is supposed to be this way well it wasn't for me but I was still alive and I was grateful for that um, that year I planned a great surprise party for my husband I flew all the way across the country for my other girlfriend who turned 30 I did great things for everybody else but on my birthday you know I had a little bit of time that I took off I was out putting bandit signs out you know off of work that's what I used my time to do and then when I got home I was um, uh, dealing with really the loss to be honest of a family member who was still alive but still a great loss um, and they were hospitalized and um, I was there trying to peace everything and bring joy and at the same time you know I myself was just bewildered and so um, maybe for some people it's oh it's your 30th you're supposed to be this way you're supposed well who says you're supposed to be anything I mean you're living life and who know you don't know that this situation or that situation is going to happen so again I just want to say don't be ashamed don't be ashamed of not being able to be where everybody else needs you to be it's okay to be right where you are and to understand that this is life and it has highs and it has lows and it has sides and twists and that's what really makes it an art form and that's how we are stretched and how we grow with it um, and it's okay to be still sometimes it's okay to not have the answers it's okay to sit and think and reflect and wish you had something else that that that's actually a sign that you have truly loved you have truly lived wow you have truly had presence wow you you wish you could go back and you never knew that everything you have was already enough I mean it hurts but isn't that wonderful to kind of know and there's one last quote that I want to end you all with and it says people don't die from suicide because they want to end their lives they die from suicide because they want to end the pain so just think about that you know and just think you, you never know what you being understanding and empathetic and easy with people and treating them like they're fragile like like yourself like you would want to be treated how much that can matter because some people just just want to just you know they're so anxious or so tense they don't know how it's going to work and they just want the pain to stop you know and sometimes they just feel that they things would be better for everybody all around but i want you to know that um you know that you matter and that it's okay and you don't have to be ashamed i'm wishing everybody a wonderful 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 holiday and um i'm wishing you love all right peace and blessings have a good one